Welcome, everyone, to Episode 9 of Trend Talks Threat Research. I'm your host, John Clay of Trend Micro. I'm VP of Threat Intelligence here. And welcome to the show. I wanted to take this time today to talk about a takedown that global law enforcement did of a phishing as a service group called Lab Host. Um, reason I wanted to bring this up is also as trend researchers helped in the investigation and the takedown of this uh, group. And so let's take a look at some of the, the key things that happened as part of this operation, essentially. On April 18th, the Metro UK Metropolitan Police Service, along with other international uh, law enforcement agencies, uh, succeeded in taking down Lab Host. Some of the reasons why this is a, a big deal out there for people. So they they were they started up in around uh, late 2021. Uh, Lab Host or AKA Lab Rat is another name for them. They emerged as a new phishing as a service platform. They offered dozens of phishing pages targeting. Uh, banks, high profile organizations, other service providers located around the world, but most notably it was Canada, the US and the UK. It actually boasted more than 2000 criminal users as their um, uh, people they worked with. And they'd use that to deploy over 40,000 fraudulent sites leading to hundreds of thousands of victims worldwide. Um, they actually offered three different subscription services. Uh, the standard service, which was $179 U.S. dollars, offered dozens of pages to, uh, targeting Canadian institutions, and it hosted a maximum of three active phishing pages at the same time. You could also purchase a premium version for $249 a month. Um, in addition to the features of the standard, the premium got um, – dozens of pages targeting U.S. institutions and increase the size of its active phishing pages to 20. And then finally, there was a world membership offer of $300 per month. Um, and this uh, targeted international organizations, added 10 hosted phishing pages. Um, some of the organizations in countries that they targeted were Andorra, Argentina, Australia, Austria, Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, France, Germany, Guatemala, Hong Kong, Ireland, Italy, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Malaysia, Mexico, Netherlands, Poland, Portugal, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Spain, Sweden, Turkey, the UAE, and Venezuela. So huge opportunity, huge offering, uh, which is why they probably, why there was probably 2,000 adversaries, um, threat actors that were using their service because they're located all over the world and targeting victims all over the world. <clears throat> Uh, the phishing offering also included smishing, uh, which is SMS text phishing uh, as part of it, besides the other traditional phishing options. Uh, let's talk a little bit about law, the law enforcement actions that happened. As I said, on April 18th of 2024, Lab Host and all the linked fraudulent sites were disrupted by the Metropolitan Police Service, and they replaced it with messages announcing their seizure. Um, some of the other Global law enforcement groups that worked with them, um, UK's National Crime Agency, the City of London Police, Europol, regional organized crime units across the UK, and other international police forces uh, collaborated with some of the trusted private industry organizations like ourselves. Um, in addition, from April 14th through the 17th, international law enforcement made uh, several arrests uh, related to criminal users of this service. Uh, international law enforcement also, we contacted hundreds more mentioning that they knew the details of their activities and le left them a warning to that they will remain under active investigation. So this is going to disrupt a whole lot of people out there, um, adversaries out there that were committing crimes. Um, so great opportunity, uh, great um, that law enforcement was able to disrupt this. Some of the things that Trend assisted, uh, we started helping the UK Metropolitan Police Service back in June of 2023. And during that time, we investigated the infrastructure hosting uh, the criminal service. We also investigated phishing pages associated with users of the service, uh, assisted with the triage and clustering of lab host users and launched individual investigations on several key users. So we provided that type of intelligence to the law enforcement investigation. Um, so, you know, one of the benefits that we get when we work with law, law enforcement is we do get early access to IOCs. So in this case, 
all of the IOCs that were um, pulled out of, uh, whether it was from the, the private groups or the public uh, law enforcement groups we had access to. And we provided protection against those to all of our customers worldwide. <clears throat> so that's an, uh, one of the added benefits that we get when we work with global law enforcement on these activities. It, it, but it also shows a, a, an example of the power of, a, of, of um, public private partnerships. Uh, we've been doing this for you know decades, uh, working with law enforcement, helping them in their investigations, really with the intent to try to get these criminals off the market, um, get them out of and arrested so that their infrastructure can be disrupted as well as themselves so that they don't get back into doing cr uh, cyber crime anytime soon. So if you want more details, you can certainly uh, go to our website where we have a, a much more detailed version of what I explained here today. Um, the link will be provided here, uh, but uh, certainly feel free to take a look at that. You know, I'm very proud that uh, Trend Micro is an active uh, per participant with global law enforcement. It helps us keep the um, world safer. Uh, so that's a great benefit for everybody. Uh, but again, I will be back in a couple of weeks with uh, another episode of Trend Talks Threat Research. I'll cover another topic about um, research that Trend Micro has either participated in or we've published out there. So thanks, everybody, for joining me today uh, and stay safe out there and we'll talk soon. Take care. Bye bye.